Good evening, AF fans. Just back from uh, Southport. Uh, had a safe trip. I hope everybody else has. Uh, what do we want to say about today's game and performance? I don't know about anybody else. Do you, do you feel like uh, you're hanging off the edge of a cliff on a piece of thread and it's about to break? Uh, <laughs> We seem to be struggling to this final part of the season to hang on to that. You know, obviously we've lost that first spot to Tamworth, and we seem to be. It's going to be a struggle keeping hold of this second way. If we keep playing in that same vein like we have today, I've got to say, it, and everybody knows, I'm not one. I don't like to criticise. I like to try and be positive if I can. But I've got to say that was a horrible performance again today with a lack of endeavour commitment some really um, misplaced passes um, individual errors uh, we, we couldn't keep possession of the ball um, it was it was bad conditions it has to be said but the conditions are there for both sides I have to say they were a pretty poor side as well and they were lacking their two front men. It should have been a walk in the park for us as professional footballers. Their chaps have probably got to go to work tomorrow for posting letters and uh, been plumbers, etc. Um, our lads will probably have a day off. Um, we, we should be finishing these teams off. Um, yes, we've got a victory. We've got the three points. It was 1-0, 89th minute. Winner from Coogan. I didn't think we was ever going to score. It just, I don't know, It's it almost seemed a struggle to watch the game. In fact, I had a comment to uh, a friend in the in the ground. He, he said, um, next time he'll stop, stop at home and do the ironing sort of thing. And I says, well, that will probably have been more exciting. I'll volunteer to do his ironing uh, next time. Yeah. <laughs> We, we seem to be we seem to be going at a crawling pace. Uh, what I can't understand, I don't know if everybody else feels the same, is when we played at Spennymoor. Yeah, we lost. We was and we was robbed by the referee, but we played fantastic, quick passing football that was just it was lovely to watch. I can't understand why the new man Kai uh, isn't making a start. He played that night and was seemed really creative, was really good on the ball. Why are we not playing the best team? I mean, people keep talking about uh, juggling the side about because of so many games. Bloody hell, when, when we were younger kids, we would play football for five hours every bloody night of the week. These are professional footballers. Two games a week shouldn't be out of the question for these players. It, it really shouldn't. Maybe... I'm a, bit, I'm a bit no expert on fitness and whatnot, but I, I just remember when we were you used to run forever. That two games shouldn't be too much for these players. So whether you need to rotate them or not, I don't know. There's a, there's a debate there to be had by everyone. I'm, I'm maybe wrong. I'm not. I'm not going to put my hand up and say I'm category right. All I can say is when I was younger, we we would have joyfully played at least two games a week, probably four if we'd had the chance, you know. Um, so, but what? Why is it that the team can play like they did at Spennymoor? Then the last two games have been like that. It's, it's really flat. Um, I don't know. I, I, I can't weigh it up. Um, but we, we're still in there. We're still in a chance with uh, that second place. But Brackley won. Uh, Charlie won. They really are on our, on our heels. And now we've got, what, is it uh, three games left? We've got Hereford, Blythe, uh, Blythe Spartans at home, and then the last one at Gloucester. All teams that we should really beat. But you wouldn't put money on it. I wouldn't go out and put a bet that we was going to, to win all three of them games, or even necessarily any of them. Um, but... We got a bit of luck at the end of the game today. It's got to be said. I mean, we had again, we had lots of possession, but it's all very well having 80 90 percent of possession, if you like, and then not, but not putting it in the back of that net. I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you all feel. Uh, let's let's have a, a, a debate, uh, and please feel free to 
uh, subscribe or give us a like on the channel if you can. The other thing is thank you to all those that got raffle tickets today. Uh, I think I did about 40, 40 quid on the raffle ticket, so that, sh that should have maybe took it to over 200 quid with a bit of luck. Uh, I know it doesn't sound much, it's not going to move mountains, but you know, every penny into the club counts. If you haven't got your raffle tickets, you've still time to get them. It's not going to be drawn until the 12th of April. Uh, so if you see me at any of the games and you want them, just let me know. Or you can purchase them with via bank transfer. Uh, I do write all you when you want them. I'll put your name on the back of each ticket and it goes into the draw. So when we do the draw, we know straight away when we draw that ticket out, it'll have a name on it. And who's going to be the winner? Fantastic first prize of the... Scunthorpe United football with Kevin Keegan's signature on it. Uh, uh, I think most of those people that bought them today uh, wanted a chance at uh, winning that football. So, yeah. So, don't forget. Anyway, take care, everybody. Oh, and a, a big, massive thank you to the 451 Iron fans that made the journey today, and especially those that uh, was in the seat and we were fortunate enough to be had a roof over our head, but those out on the standing terrace uh which was the predominant amount uh we're, we're in the rain so well done and you were singing a bit um uh, even as dire as the game was it wasn't a joy to watch and like i say i think next time i'm going to do my mates ironing anyway take care everybody up the iron